and spiritual peeps out there my name is natalie aka a wooden butterfly and this is art that heals the soul uh today we will be doing a lovely pick a pile reading this pick a pile reading is going to tell you what lessons you um the universe has been trying to teach you through all these lovely retrogrades that we've been experiencing with multiple planets this is a not by accident we are meant to become aware of something or revisit, reflect, or re-evaluate parts of our lives to further our expansion and growth in different areas of our lives. So let's get right into it. Please, when picking the pals, uh, use your intuition, whatever calls to you initially, whichever pal, it could be multiple pals, it could be one pal, it could be none. Whatever calls to you, this is a general reading. So it's not going to be, um, it's going to be generalized. And um, so keep that in mind and also so please take what resonates with you leave the rest yada 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 um and what else if you guys are interested in oh timestamps are below so you can just skip on right to the pile um or to the to the pick a pile screen pause it take your time in choosing it and then go to the timestamp uh that relates to the pile that you chose besides that if you guys are interested in a more in-depth reading i am available to take um client or uh, to take uh on people so just let me know if you are interested in that by emailing me at a wooden butterfly at gmail.com and let's get right into it bye mm -hmm. This lovely pyrite crystal or this lovely deck right here. So what I'm going to do before I get into these, I'm going to pick an archetype. We're going to um, pick one archetype to give the overall general theme of what is going to be coming up in your reading. Um, today we're asking the question, what is it that you are learning through all these retrogrades that are happening currently. We got Mercury in retrograde, we got a bunch of planets in retrograde. So let's get started with our pile number one. Hold on, my spirit guides and pile number one spirit guides. Allow me to use as a channel for the messages my pile number ones need to receive. These two fell out. Um, all right, so we're gonna take these two because they fell out. Um, what does my pile number one need to receive through my mind's eye through the cards? Please and thank you. Allow me to release whatever energies I pick up during the reading after the reading is over. Please. Okay, so I feel like you've been going through this massive spiritual expansion that is causing a lot of insane downloads you're understanding you're becoming aware your awareness is expanding you are <clears throat> there's something that is um brewing within you that is wanting to come out it's like this like uh it's just like there's something that you're dying to get out into the world for people to see to teach to to be to inspire to motivate people and it's like um and you do have a lot of uh, spiritual teachers or spiritual guides that are protecting you through this journey of self-awareness and self-expansion. Um, so that is what is happening through these retrogrades that you are experiencing. This is the outcome of what is going to happen as a result of what it is that you're learning through these retrogrades. So let's get a little bit deeper into this with the cards. What is pile number one? What is it that they need to know about these retrogrades? What um, lessons are they learning? Or what lessons are left to be learned? And what's not? Okay. 
we got we got the knight of cups and we got the five of swords Okay, so a lesson that's being learned is a lesson of patience, of having to um, be okay with things not necessarily working out the way that you initially had planned, um, being okay with things not um, getting to a certain level or a certain, because um, I feel like you're in the middle of creating something from the ground up. and it isn't um moving forward or or growing at the rate that you had initially hoped or had expected it to and it's bringing forth a lot of um you know uncertainties a lot of but th but these things that are coming up that are being triggered within you are coming up for the exact purpose of being in a position to expand in major and powerful ways that will cause a ripple effect from the inside out it's going to cause a ripple effect within your life in very powerful and dynamic ways so this is letting me know that whatever it is that you've been working on keep going this is the lesson that you are learning at this time that patience is truly a virtue and if you um, allow your things to maybe not go as planned and let go of control because that could be the thing that is preventing things from uh, from uh, actually moving forward then we got the Emperor we got the Queen of Wands I'm not gonna do reversals with these um, Some decks I just feel are better without the reversals. Um, they make more sense to me. Okay, so the <clears throat> Emperor and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like these, they're showing me the different lessons that you're learning. This is the lesson number one, the lesson of patience, of the lesson of, of letting go of control, letting go of your expectations, your high expectations of where things should be at this moment, and letting go of all, um, and I apologize if you guys hear cats in the background. <laughs> we got little kitties running around. Um, okay, so um, we got the Emperor and the Queen. This one, I think the next lesson is a lesson within interpersonal relationships. I feel like in the past, maybe you were used to um, people trying to control you or to manipulate you maybe you've had experiences in the past within your relationships where there was a lot of jealousy a lot of insecurity a lot of toxicity and now you're coming into a place where you are more um you have this like um inner light that is shining bright and it's finally bringing or it's 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 bringing closer to you people that actually align with your vibration you're you're pulling people in energetically that are aligning with your vibration and you're pushing the others that are no longer aligned with you away and this is happening naturally and organically this is just what your energy is causing so i feel like the next lesson that is being brought to you is the um, knowing your worth, your self-worth is a major theme um, that you've been experiencing and I feel like it's very important for you to um, always remember who you are, always um, bring forth the most authentic version of yourself because the most authentic version of yourself is the version that everyone seems to love the most and um, it, you have it in your mind that you know so, some certain people you have to act a certain way around or you have to but no they it's people appreciate the authenticity that you bring forth within dynamics and within relationships and um, self-worth is a major um, Part of your expansion knowing that you deserve only the best knowing that it's okay if, if you don't have the best right now do not settle there is no need to settle we have the two of Pentacles I think you have been going back and forth 
with, um, you know, with feeling this way, I feel like you've been going back and forth about like, okay, you know what, maybe I'm not like, you know, the best that I thought I was, maybe, you know, like there's other people better than me, and you know, those little nagging thoughts, those little annoying little thoughts in your mind, it's like these little whispers in your ear that are causing this, you know, uncertainty. So this is, the, the retrogrades are bringing up, triggering certain things within you that are, um, bringing that to the forefront, bringing your insecurities, your uncertainties about self to the forefront in order for you to see like, okay, wait, wait a second. When I am in my power, when I know my worth, I get only the best. When I allow these little whispers, this is so perfect. When I allow, I'm picturing this as symbolic to like someone whispering in your ear, little like, you know, nagging at you, like making you feel like you don't have the best of the best, that you are not worth the best of the best. And on that side, it's like a smaller, like, you know, less, I, I feel like it's less like, ooh. And this one, it's on a golden book with golden pages. It's more expanded. It's a little bit uh, more um, elevated. And I feel like um, that is the perfect representation of what it is that is happening. The When you allow these nagging thoughts to affect how you um, show up in the world, you don't get, you don't feel as elevated. When you are in your power, when you know your worth, when you real remember who it is that you are, and you don't allow those thoughts to intrude on your balance within self then you become much more elevated so that is something that is being brought up to the forefront i'm going to ooh, and then this one definitely wanted to come out we got the nine of cups i feel like you are coming to a place of just major um understanding major awareness of 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 you know people and things around you, you are learning to balance both aspects of yourself in a way that is aligned with who you are as a person. And it is truly a beautiful thing. Yes, there may be some dark clouds and external issues that come along the way, but you are holding yourself high under clear skies. You're not allowing these things to intrude on your inner strength and your inner power. And if you are, this is reminding you, this is an opportunity to be reminded of just what it is that you've already uh, come to the conclusion of when it comes to who it is that you are, what it is that you're worth, and what it is that you deserve in this world. So that is pretty powerful. I'm going to move the cards up a little bit so that we can get some um, some cards to clarify. See if you can see them. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'll just do that. Okay, there we go. That will work. If it doesn't, I apologize. <laughs> I'm not the best at these angles. Okay. So, let's get some clarifying cards. And then we'll close the reading up. Um, let's clarify. I want to clarify this Five of Swords. Actually, let's clarify each one, each card in order. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups first. Actually, let's clarify the lessons. Let's clarify the Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Let's get that better. Okay, we got Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay. In the past, you allowed 
emotional like your emotional responses were um dependent on the way you thought about yourself like if you were feeling down or if you feel down this is something that um needs to be um brought to your attention clearly um you tend to allow your emotional body to control the way it is that you think about yourself so if you're not feeling happy at all times you start um those little nagging thoughts start in uh becoming uh and it, like intruding within your mind and that is what it is that is causing you to feel the need to control and to manipulate things in order for things to be a certain way but it's you need to allow yourself to feel those negative feelings and when you see that those nagging thoughts are coming up remember oh wait a second this is only happening because i'm not feeling my best right now you know what i'm not going to allow these thoughts to intrude any longer because you know what i just need to let things be i need to let things you know go as they're meant to go and allow it to unfold naturally knowing that you are not going to be um struggling you're not struggling you're not in a position where you are like oh my god i i'm not going to be able to do this oh what am i doing? i can't pay for this i gotta do that blah, 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 blah. you're not in that you're not you're not at that point mentally you're like oh my god what was me things are not happening as they are meant to be and what is going on and it's like you're you're like hello wake up you're letting your emotions um dictate what it is that you're thinking about the situation when in reality there is you you're in a great place right now you're not struggling you're not in a position where you're like what the fuck do i do and I think that is a major, um, a major part within your, um, within the lessons that you are trying to incorporate. Um, I think that, um, yeah, I just feel like, um, I, and, and when I say you're allowing your emotions to dictate the way you're thinking, I'm not saying the emotions that you're feeling are negative. They're, to me personally i feel that there is no such thing as negative and positive that is a way to uh label and to separate when in reality it it is just perspective it is all comes down to perspective what one person feels is negative another person may feel is positive depending on the way you look at it and that can be done with anything in this world so I, when I'm saying that, I'm not saying that your emotions are negative. They're not. They are necessary. You're, it's They're necessary to feel them fully and be okay with them. Be okay with them being there. Allow yourself to feel them. Don't allow them to uh, uh, re realign the way you're viewing the situation. Because when you're in good spirits, you look at your situation and you're like, damn, you know what? This is fucking great. I'm in a great, you know what? I'm doing good. There's nothing wrong here. Everything's falling into place. But then when you're feeling down, you're like, you know what? Everything sucks, man. You know what? Like, why am I even doing this anymore? Nothing is freaking happening. Blah, blah, blah. And that is what it is that I'm trying to um uh, express now with this coming out the five of wands coming out in conjunction with the um with the emperor this is telling me that you have experiences perhaps currently or in the past but regardless it's coming up to be shown to you that it you there it's possible to have a healthy committed relationship without having that uh passionate arguing the 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 it's it's possible w in those types of dynamics where it's so sh um uh high in with passion like so hot with passion so like um you know like amazing sex or whatever the case is in those types of dynamics 
the fire burns bright, but it also burns too quick and it, 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 it comes out. So what you're learning through these retrogrades is that that is not always the best type of relationship. The best type of relationship is one that can grow with you, that can, that, um, one that, um, you both support one another, one that someone builds you up and makes you feel good about yourself. Someone that is able to, uh, to see your worth as well. That's someone that wants you to feel your worth. Someone that, that, that is, um, you know, that holds you in high regards, but that doesn't make you feel like you can't be yourself. Someone that looks at you as the empress of their life, but that doesn't try to dim your light or to hold you back or to make you feel less than so that he can control you and manipulate you to, to being their own. And this is coming, this is a very, very uh, important lesson within your life because I feel like you tend to fall in these types of relationships that do not show your worth, that do not, um, that dim your light, that hold you back, that makes you feel like you can't do this, that, or the other. It makes you feel like you can't wear this when you go out because you don't want the other person to, to, to uh, you know, get jealous. You, you hold yourself back just to keep the peace. And that is not a healthy relationship. And this is a major lesson that you are incorporating or integrating within your life. I don't feel like you are necessarily, you could be still in contact with the, that type of dynamic. I feel like maybe you are still somewhat tied to it in this one sense or another. But I don't feel like they have a hold on you as they once did. And because of that, your light is starting to burn brighter and you're starting to push these, these negative toxic relationships away and pulling in ones that will bring you stability. Clarify these two of pentacles and two of cups. And with this two of pentacles and then the two nine of cups coming, but she's holding two cups. It's making me feel like you are going back and forth within both of these, with, within both of these lessons in your life. You keep going back and forth with, you know, struggling with when you're feeling down, how it is that you're feeling about yourself and et, et cetera, and about your situation, your financial situation, your, your work, your career, et cetera. And then you're also allowing the cups, your emotions to you, you. It's hard for you to um, decipher what it is that you know your worth. Your your you keep going back and forth with how it is that you feel about yourself, how elevated you feel, etc. And we have the knight knight of wands in the reverse. And one thing that I feel spirit is bringing up is. Um, confirmation that you have been uh facing your fears as they come up when in the past you might have held yourself back or or been like nope you know what I you know I don't want to um I don't want to face my fears that's like I don't want to talk in front of a, a this is just an example I don't want to talk in front of a whole crowd of people because I'm way too nervous and I think I'm gonna fuck it all up that is what I mean. You're not, you're not allowing yourself, you're not holding yourself back. Instead, you're like, you know what? I'm nervous as fuck, but I'm going to do it anyways, because I really feel like this is going to be good for me. You're, and, and that is uh, the change that is happening. But one thing that spirit is also highlighting is that you are not, you are still, there's still aspects in your life that you are trying to control the direction that is it is going in and it is holding you back slightly and making you um it's holding back your abundance and that expansion from fully coming in so once you allow your yes you got the fear thing down now you have to focus on just going with the flow allowing things to unfold naturally not being upset when they don't work out exactly the way it is that you wanted them to work out etc now let's get some 
closing card and that will be it. I'm going to get the unicorn to get some closing statements for my pile number one. We got magic. Wow, that is beautiful. Not a fairy magic. And then we got not a constellation, hope. That is so beautiful. It's just like so much um like so many magical occurrences so many synchronicities are happening so many major downloads you're just like oh reeling in all these insane ideas these insane like um realizations like it's all coming to you so clearly and so concisely and it's just like so magical to you and it's bringing you to a place of like maybe even after hearing this reading it's it's going to just further um confirm for you that you are meant to shine bright you are meant to show your worth to everyone around you because you have so much to give you have so much to give and then oh my god divinity not an angel divinity if that is not confirmation enough all three cards are just filled with magic with with vibrancy with expansion with spiritual evolution it is beautiful it is beautiful what it is that you are meant to bring to this world and this is confirmation for you to continue on and and just to bring that awareness to those parts of your um journey that maybe you have been overlooking that maybe you need to take a second look at especially during these retrogrades take a second look at the way you communicate with people mercury and retrograde the way you you know at, at all of that the the expansiveness like the uh uh it's it's all happening in order for you to fully evolve into the person that you are meant to become so let me know if that resonated down below and hopefully i'll see you guys soon bye did you pick my pile number two or this little stone here i really have no idea what it is if you know there's like a little bit of reddish and green mixed in it if you guys know what it is please comment it down below and we got these um the young witch tarot i forget the name of it i'll figure it out and i'll put it down below um but um we're going to open the reading up with these archetype cards to kind of give an overall general theme of what it is that you are learning through this retrograde season so let's get started with my palm number twos I call for my spirit guides and pile number two spirit guides, allowing to be used as a channel for the messages my pile number two needs to receive. Through your mind's eye, through the cards, please and thank you. Allow me to release whatever energies I pick up during the reading after the reading is over. Please, spirits, tell me, please, what is pile number two meant to learn through this retrograde season? Oh, I picked two out by accident, so I'm going to take both of them. I got two cards for the first one as well. So we got the heart and the fault line. Okay, so I feel like you guys are in a state of major heartbreak, major, um, like you're just hurting right now. I feel um, something must have happened, um, a loss or a painful, something painful has unraveled within your life and it's caused a major breaking point or you're at a breaking point right now and that is what is being brought to the forefront through this retrograde season you're at this breaking point um in order to um come to a, a state where your heart is open once more so let's get a little bit um more into 
this like these cards here but yes i do feel like there is you're experiencing a lot of pain right now a lot of uncertainty a lot of why why is this happening why why just why it's like a lot of whys Seven of Swords. I feel like um, it's like they're the people that you are surrounding yourself with. It's like you're willing to help and do whatever is necessary for them to be happy, but they're not willing to put in the same effort. And it's just taking away from like it's further enhancing this heartbreak that you're already experiencing you got the hierophant um so what's coming to the forefront within these retrogrades is the belief system your belief system of what a relationship entails you need to look at that things are being brought up to the forefront in order for you to look deep, deep in your soul, because the answers are within you. The answers are within you, not within others around you. Don't listen to the chitter chatter that you hear around you. You need to go within to find out what it is that you are meant to um, uh, experience when it comes to a relationship if you're not feeling like uh, if you're feeling like you're putting more in then and you're not getting the same back it's not meant to be and that it's coming up this this uncertainty this this further heartbreak this further breaking point that you're experiencing is being brought to the forefront for you to take a look at your core beliefs like why why is it that you stick around with people that don't give you the same amount that you give to them why where is it what um what is it in your life that made you feel like that is what you deserved and then you can start unraveling from there from that understanding you can start unraveling what it is that you actually want in a relationship and why it is that you deserve much more so that is a major lesson that is being brought up um for the next one i feel like okay so yes with the fault line and then the tower coming out a lot of things are like just um falling apart around you there's a lot of like ah uh, like it, you might be feeling like really out of control and really like just like at a breaking point you're at a breaking point right now you're you're tired of everything all the bullshit that people keep uh you know putting on you all the fucking you know you're already in this state of heartbreak and loss and like feeling like shit and then there's people around you that are adding to that to that to that um to that pain to that struggle and it's like ah like what like why why is all this happening and this is happening because it's meant to break a break through those lies that you've been telling yourself about what it is that you fucking deserve you deserve more this is happening so that you can get rid of all that bullshit all that shit that doesn't serve you anymore this is what is happening right now so the tower is typically represents you know like uh breaking uh break a breaking down of a current situation a current foundation that is unsturdy to begin with and it is causing things to peep things and people and situations to fall away it is forcing it's it's forcing itself to fall away this is like a divine intervention that is happening in your life because you do not deserve what it is that you think that you deserve you deserve much more so it's breaking down your current life and your current situation in order for you to build on fresh and new ground to see to start to to begin a new uh way of looking at a new belief 
to instill a new belief within you that is more aligned with what it is that you're uh, truly deserving of. And then we got the Three of Swords. I just feel like uh, people just keep like throwing, you know, more bullshit at you. And this is just confirmation for me. It's just like, you know, like if you see here, one there's two witches on a broom. This one is like, yo, what the fuck? Like there's something going in his her eyes or something. And this one's like, ha, 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 yeah, I got you. I got that bitch. So like I just feel like there's a lot of people around you that are like, you know, making you feel that way. That are like throwing, um more fuel in the fire that are throwing, uh, you know, that are, you know, it's just like a combust combustion. That is what I'm picturing, like a combustion of just like, uh, just like, you are over it. You're just fucking done with all of it. Like, it's just like you are at your fucking breaking point. And then we got the devil. And okay, so I feel like perhaps, perhaps, um, another lesson that is being learned through these retrogrades is maybe, just maybe, you need to look at certain toxic behaviors or traits that you might indulge in that are not helping this situation in any way, that are actually causing more fuel, more combustion, more gas to the already lit fire. And I know that might not be something that you want to hear, but it's something that is necessary because I am never going to sugarcoat what it is that is being brought to the forefront because it's being brought up in order for your highest good. I always set an intention before I do these readings that the, the, that the highest good will come through what it whatever is meant for you to hear you're meant to hear for a reason and it, you're meant to hear it because you're ready to hear it you're in a position where you're ready to take on that understanding that new level of understanding and currently right now your life you feel like your life is just shit right now like everything's fucking ridiculous you don't even know like what's going on i feel like everything is just like out of control you're losing you know you're fighting with everyone around you. you're fighting with your friends you're fighting with your sisters your brothers you're fighting with your 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 relationships and it's just like what the fuck why is all this happening and it's maybe there's something there's like this behavior that you indulge in there's this or maybe a a substance that you indulge in that adds more fuel to the already lit fire yeah three cards that came out so and i'm going to put all these together i also feel like maybe you are feeling bound to a current situation like you feel like you know it's hard for you to break free from this situation because of things that are being told to you by this other person but that is another lesson that is being brought up so you have three lessons that you're learning the first lesson is the belief system the second lesson is the understanding that maybe there's something that you need to take a look at that is causing, you know, more fuel to the fire. And then the third lesson is that you are being shown that the things that are being said to you are, are being said to you in order to manipulate you, to instill fear in you, to make you feel like you can't get away to make you feel like you're bound to the situation but the lesson that is being brought to the forefront when you work on this toxic indulgence you can then see that the things that are being said to you are not true it's all meant to instill fear in you and i can assure you that there is nothing that is holding you back besides yourself so let's get some clarifying cards. There's a lot of cards that came out for you guys. We got three lessons. So I'm going to clarify. I'm going to bring clarifiers out for each lesson. And then we'll get some closing for the 
first lesson, the beliefs. We got justice in the reverse. So yeah, that, that right there, confirmation, things are in balance within your relationships. Things are in balance. You're not getting what you deserve. You deserve much more. And it's time for you to evaluate, to re-evaluate your core beliefs about what it is that you actually deserve and look at those uncomfortable um, things in the past that made you feel like you didn't deserve more than what it is that you're getting currently. And this is something that might not be, you know, like this is a difficult, this is a harsh reading. I'm not going to lie. But this, I feel like this is happening because it's going to bring forth so much of a heart opening and so much gratitude and so much like just relief. Once you move through this painful experience that you are currently um, feeling right now, when you move through this, on the other side, it's going to be major heart opening, major gratitude, major understanding, major understanding and awareness as to why it is that you had to experience all this bullshit. And then your justice will be served once you move through this. So let's get a uh, third card for the um, second. We got temperance. That is so, okay. So this right here, in conjunction with the tower card, I feel like what needs to be done. Oh, and with the it's with these three, what needs to be done? Let me get one more card. We got the hierophant in the reverse. Wow. 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 Okay. So this is major, major stuff happening because you got a lot of. Um, you know, major players um, in your reading. So this isn't just like, you know, these are major lessons that are you're learning right now. And maybe if you um, adjust your perspective and look at it in that way, maybe it would not seem as brutal, as unfair as you're currently looking at it now because it's happening, it is all happening in, in in the end, it's happening for your highest good, for your major expansion, for breaking away from all the things that don't give you what it is that you deserve, that don't make you feel like you're balanced within yourself. It's time for you to dip your toes in to things that do bring you balance. Dip your toes into things that make you feel yourself and stop allowing your old, outdated belief systems of what a relationship or what relationships in general entail and stop looking at those toxic behaviors and traits that you might carry as such a negative thing because it's those it's within those traits that you can um really change the dynamic of your relationship perhaps um, adjusting how you because i feel like these traits or these that this um maybe it's substance abuse or toxic behavior patterns that you indulge in when you're feeling imbalanced when you're feeling not yourself and, and that is what it is that is being brought to the forefront. It's when you're not in your power and in your balanced state that these things start coming up within you. Those like shadow aspects of yourself that you try to hold down start coming up to the surface and start causing more outrage. So it's time to um, adjust, adjust the way you look at situations so that you can find that balance so that those situations because with when you're balanced within it it comes out it's it's what as as above and so below it's the same type of thing you need to when you are feeling imbalanced 
your external world will be in balance. When you are feeling imbalanced within yourself, your external world will reflect that. And you need to adjust the way you are viewing what it is that you are doing because perhaps, yes, it's okay that you um, um, do X, Y, Z. It's okay. You can't beat yourself up every time that you do it. But it, realize, understand that it's it only happens when you're not feeling imbalanced. When you are doing the things that make you happy, when you are being your most authentic version of yourself, it's not even an issue for you. Let's clear, let's clarify this. The last lesson, get two cards. Yes, wow. Okay, more freaking confirmation of feeling bound and that's allowing yourself to see that it's all in your head what you are able to break yourself free find inner peace inner sanct uh your find that uh inner sanctuary that inner um you know that state of just like okay you know what thank god i am thank god i got away from that because i feel like you are feeling bound to a situation because things that are being said to you but you're not willing to look at that because you feel as though you deserve it your core belief is telling you that you deserve what it is that you are receiving so this is a major lesson in your life where it's forcing you to look at these core beliefs that no longer align with who it is that you are becoming and who it is that you are now we're going to get some closing statements here for my pile number twos we got desire not a dream desire we got not a snail calm sorry i got kitties in the background and then we got not a flame creativity okay so this is telling me okay this is telling me you are not typically someone that moves quickly in life you are one of those people that observe and look at you know all aspects of situations before you act on it you're not very you're not super impulsive maybe there's aspects of you that are in some ways but you tend to evaluate situations before you move forward so take this time to reevaluate your core beliefs and what it is that you truly desire and why it is that you're not allowing your creativity to shine through and through this, through expressing yourself in whatever creative um, venture that you tend to um, go to, through that, there's major transformation that is coming with these butterflies symbolizing transformation. I feel like there is going to bring forth something inside of you. It's going to reignite something by you expressing yourself in a creative way that maybe you felt like you haven't had the time to. Maybe you felt like you haven't um, been able to or maybe someone makes you feel like it's stupid. Like, why are you doing that? Like, so, you know, they make you feel like you're like, that's, oh, great. That, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, whatever. And then you're just like, okay, you know what? Forget it. That is all just coming from a place of insecurities, of of, of manipulation, of, of trying to control. And it's it's meant you're meant to see that so that you can move forward, move past your breaking point, and get that major heart opening that you truly deserve. So you can be filled with gratitude instead of the pain and the remorse that you're currently feeling. Let me know down below if that resonated with you guys. That was pretty um, intense. Um, and I really hope that everything works out in the end. Uh, please let me know. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. All right. This is post pile number three. Or this lovely citrine.
was, I think it's what this is. And this over here. And this kitty, kitty deck. Put this over here. I'm going to open the reading up with these lovely archetypes. And I'm doing two of these because two have been coming out for all the other piles. And we're going to get right into the reading. I call upon my spirit guys and those drawn to pile number three. Spirit guys, allow me to use as a channel for the messages. Those drawn to pile number three need to receive. And then as I do the cards, please and thank you. Allow me to release whatever energies I pick up during the reading after the reading is over. Please and thank you. Spirit, tell me, what does pile number three, what are they learning through this wonderful retrograde season? What is pile number three learning through all these retrogrades that are happening currently? Okay, we got one. We got the prayer. Okay, let's put that over here. A lot of spiritual revelations happening. <clears throat> Seems like you're reaching out for, um, like, a, you're trying to build a stronger connection. The desert to, to source. You're trying to build or maintain your connection to source in order to refuel your desires that you feel have been mm, like desires that you feel like you have left behind or have um, withered away in some way. So I'm gonna go um, start getting some cards to to kind of expand on this a little bit. But if you can see on both these cards, we have hands that are reaching out. So it's like you're reaching towards something. You're reaching towards a goal. But with the desert here, I'm getting the sense that it's like being um, like it's it's losing the um, the essence that once was there. But you're hoping and praying that it could return in some way or another. So let's get a little bit more into this. So I'm wondering if maybe you've lost um, a certain level of connection that maybe you once had in a spiritual sense. Or maybe it's not even to do with spirituality, but maybe it's something that you have worked on for quite a long time that you feel was supposed to end up in a different uh end up differently and it's just not going as planned let's see what does palm number three need to hear about the lesson being learned what does palm number three need to learn here about what does pile number three need to learn? That's not a coincidence. Okay, um, we got the wheel of fortune. It's like, um, you feel like you've been playing a game of cat and mouse, like you are going around and around in circles when it comes to something and this is happening for a reason okay so this is now it's coming together there's something in your life that you uh, have a lot of um that you put a lot of um energy and, and a focus into but it just seems very stagnant in this in this moment and you're wondering if it's because because uh, i feel like it's something that you you've been called to do it's something that you're passionate about it's something that you feel is meant to become something more and 
it just doesn't seem to be happening in fact it seems very stagnant and it seems like it's just like um devoid of the essence that once was and because of that you're questioning if you were ever meant to do this thing or create this thing to begin with because it feels in your mind like you're just going around and, and around and around in circles it's like a game of cat and mouse you don't really know like you're not seeing any of the the benefits or the uh like you're not seeing the fruits of your labor in this moment and that is happening there is a reason that is happening so let's get a little bit more into that because i feel like that is one of the lessons that you are having to learn currently you have three cards that came out here so let's click these three okay There is something that, okay, so the, I, I'm starting to, to understand the message here. So what it is that you are having to learn currently is to let go of an outcome because I feel like even though you are doing everything in your power to allow you know things to unfold naturally as as in, in there you're still trying to control a situation to go in a particular direction or to have a particular outcome which means you're not actually allowing things to unfold naturally you're still trying to um, readjust the situation to your benefit or what you think would be your benefit and that is the lesson that is being taught to you is to have faith and trust that everything is happening in divine timing in divine order and you need to let go of an outcome and just allow it to be so it's a dual um a dual teaching a, a dual lesson of patience and of trust and of letting things unfold naturally allowing it to come to fruition when the time is right and and not um back down from what it is that you're trying to accomplish when you, in those moments of doubt when feeling like it's not happening quick enough when feeling like you're not um doing all that you can be doing to make it better in those moments of insecurity and uncertainty and of doubt when it comes to this particular creation or this particular thing that you are building from the ground up that you feel like you've been called to do but is currently feeling very stagnant and is not really um showing you any fruitfulness in these moments of uncertainty you need to take a step back and readjust your um, perspective on the situation because in those moments of uncertainty, you're feeling those uh, that uncertainty because you have an attached idea to, and you're attaching yourself to a particular outcome. And by not seeing this particular outcome come to fruition in a timely manner or what you feel is a timely manner you feel like it is not being it's not successful 
you are attaching yourself to an outcome, expecting things to happen in a particular time frame, in a particular order, but in, in a higher vantage point, what you do not see up ahead is that this is actually necessary it's a necessary um this 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 time frame this this slow the this slow um paced expansion of whatever it is that you're creating it's very it's very slow progression it's a very slow progression and i think that's what's making you um have these doubts because you're expecting things to un to happen so much quicker than what they're meant to meant to uh, in this in this life. I feel like you are like very impatient in wanting things to be where they're gonna where they're supposed to be right now, like where you feel like they're supposed to be right now, and it's just really grinding your gears a little bit it's grinding your gears and i feel your pain because i feel like i'm in the exact same situation where there's a very slow progression but through this slow progression there are lessons that you are learning when it comes to patience when it comes to trust when it comes to um you know just having faith in something bigger than uh, ourselves and that is what um that's a major lesson that you're learning so let's get a little bit more like what other lessons is my call number three having to learn through these many retrogrades that are happening Yes, there's like a love. Okay, so I feel like <clears throat> with this card coming out, I feel like what's going on is that you are holding tightly onto a particular outcome. And it's through that attachment to this outcome, this holding on to the outcome and forgetting about why it is that you started this in the first place that is making this, that is causing the entire thing to come or the t entire progression to come to a screeching halt. It's coming to a, an abrupt halt. There is no, there's currently no progression happening at this time because you're not allowing it to progress naturally and you're forgetting about why it is that you're doing it which is draining it of its essence its divine essence that is meant to um be the thing that is that attracts or attracts the success or attracts the abundance or attracts the progression that it is actually meant to attract it's a, it's meant to become something much bigger and something much more which is why you felt so called to do this it is a divinely orchestrated plan your destiny may i say but because you are still attaching yourself to an outcome and not seeing that outcome come to fruition in a in a certain amount of time it's like you're not um, you're forgetting why it is that you started this in the first place. So you're, so you're creating from a place of expecting an outcome. You're not creating from a place of, of passion, of love, of authenticity. You're creating because you are expecting, you're wanting something to come from you creating it, if that makes sense. You're expecting as a result instead of just creating for the sake of creating and it's when you let that go that you're going to be able to receive when you take a step back and do it from a place of uh 
of doing it because it makes you happy, because it's something you love to do, because it's something that you feel called to do. When you take a step back and stop thinking about what it is that you want to uh, want it to accomplish, you're going to be actually very surprised as to just how quickly it does progress when you just let go of the reins slightly. So this is like the um, main um, focus that is coming into view for you through these retrogrades. I feel like you've been struggling. This is something that has been an uh, um, quite, a, um, quite a long process. Um, quite a long road that you've had to go on. You've had to overcome a lot of obstacles. You've had to elevate yourself. You've had to learn new things. You've had to um, understand things in a different way. You've had to really, really look at yourself and your part in things and really just let go of that control that need to control that that urge to control the situation so i'm going to um start clarifying i want to clarify this um wheel of fortune over here wow. i've got the sun in the reverse the queen of cups in the reverse yeah, this is confirmation for me, um, just further emphasizing that when you're doing it from a place of, uh, where you, when you're not doing it for the purpose of doing it from a place of um, love and of excitement and of joy, and instead you're um, being kind of very uh, judgmental to yourself, very pl putting a lot of pressure on yourself to make things a certain way because you feel like that's the way that it needs to be in order to achieve a particular outcome. When you're doing it from that place, it can't, it, there is no room for it to progress. There is no room for it to expand, to be elevated. It's like you're reaching for something that is not going to happen because you're not creating to create. You're not creating to create. You're actually, you're creating for others. You're creating for someone else instead of yourself, instead of your, from a place of, you know your own passions and your own desires and you need to stop being so hard on yourself you are very very negative when you feel like it's not you're not uh, accomplishing things at a certain rate you're very hard on yourself and you're very negative you tend to like really um just really like uh break yourself apart and just like um tear yourself down when you are feeling in those moments of you know insecurity and doubt where you feel like there's nothing to it's like you you you're like dude there's nothing to celebrate I haven't, you know, like, even though you've done so much, even though you created something from nothing, even though you do, you have seen growth within it, in these moments of doubt and insecurity, when you're not where you feel like you're supposed to be, you, you like want to just drop, drop the towel. You're just like, you know what? There's nothing to celebrate. I suck everything sucks there's no point in this i don't want to continue on and it's like you're waiting for this outcome in this place of 
lack of 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 in this place of you know like you're what you're doing is just further emphasizing the lack that you are currently experiencing instead of uh infusing energy into abundance and into growth and into expansion you are sitting pretty in this negativity which is causing more negativity and it's causing this um progression to come to a slow painful halt making you feel like yep see i was right there's no point I suck. There is no point. Why did I even start this to begin with? That, that you know, that uh, I sh I knew I should have started this. I knew it, I wasn't good enough. Blah 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 blah. And that is just a major, major, major awareness is coming to you, and you need to take a look at this. is a major lesson for you because it it's it's a um, a recurring theme throughout many areas of your life that you are extremely hard on yourself you put pressure on yourself if things don't happen a certain way if things don't um end up in a certain particular way you feel like it is not meant to be or you're just it's not meant for you but in reality, what you're just doing is allowing your fears to dictate your um, your outcome. And when you allow your fears to dictate your outcome, your fears become your reality. It's a self, fears are self-fulfilling prophecies. So it's very important for you to take a step back to adjust your perspective look at this situation in a different light let go of that tight hold that you have or that attachment that you have to this outcome because it's by holding on to that attachment to a particular outcome that it's draining it of the essence that is meant to make this a divine divinely orchestrated um destined plan this is meant to happen for you you're just not allowing it to happen so let's get some closing statements here for my pile number threes so definitely i would uh say take a look at why you feel so attached to this outcome and maybe start from there intensity not a wave intensity and maybe see why you feel like so like so intensely about like why it needs to be a certain way why can't you be a little bit more lenient or malleable in the progression or the time frame or the um you know maybe there's some there's an aspect that you can let go of that control just to see just to see if that would adjust or or make any difference and then and then through that experience if you let go just a little and you see some growth as a result of letting go slightly Maybe it will motivate you to really see the beauty in all of it and be like, you know what? Wow. Like, I I let go just a little bit and it, it made a difference. Maybe I can let go a little bit more. Maybe I could allow this to fully blossom at its own rate and just put forth, put forth this the true essence of what I was putting forth into it to begin with because there are an intent there is intense emotions when it comes to the creation of whatever it is that you are doing currently you have there is this level of intensity that you feel about this project or this creation and 
it comes it's deeply rooted it's a it's a deeply rooted uh intense emotion when it comes to this creation because it's your destiny it's what you are meant to do in this lifetime it's deeply rooted within the depths of your soul which is why you feel so called to do this which is why you feel so like you're why you're being so hard on yourself because you feel subconsciously you're like if i can't do this like you're like questioning you're doubting your abilities your capabilities of of really being able to accomplish this but but in in that doubt in that fear in that uncertainty you're draining it of the essence that is what makes it divine that is what makes it that amazing beauty that you were initially drawn to in the very beginning so that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below if that resonated with you. I hope so. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.